Hey, pod people. This is a dart frog tadpole, and you're watching the Pod Solo Friday Show. Hey, pod people. How are we doing out there? Coming at you with another Friday show. And this week, we're going to talk about dart frog tadpoles. How I keep them, how you can keep them, so on and so forth. Um, so let's get on into the vid. All right, so here we are with stage one. So this is where, how I keep my eggs that come out of the enclosures. Basically, I have my little Petri dishes you can see inside here. I'll crack one open real quick so you can see a little closer. So we got some eggs right there developing. So basically I keep these guys kind of in a line as to newest to oldest. So these are the newest, these are the oldest. And when they come fresh out of the egg, I put them in these little containers here. Like we have a new fresh little erratus right there. Um, I keep the, the tadpoles in those little containers separate until I see that they're eating well on their own and then they go into these little six quart bins so down here i keep things communal so i don't have to keep separate cups uh, some people keep them communal some people keep them separately in cups because they can be um, carnivorous towards each other and uh, uh, cannibalistic so I haven't had too much of a crazy issue with it so much. Um, that's why I keep the, the, the fresh out of the egg babies that are kind of little invalids. Um, I kind of keep them separate until I see that they're more mobile and uh, eating and whatnot. And then they go in with, with the rest of the guys. But like this is all cobalt babies here, or, or tads rather. These are Aratus tads. These are Leucomelis tads. Um, but yeah, so that's how I keep those guys. And I keep them on a pretty steady diet of Rapashi, Soylent Green, and I also mix in some Spawn and Grow Rapashi as well. And I also mix in just some standard Spirulina Algae as well as um, some Bee Pollen, actually into their diet to keep them uh, growing good. Um, I do have, like I say, every once in a while, I do have a tad that tends to be a little more carnivorous and cannibalistic. So I kind of bring those guys up here and they kind of go on in their own little jam. But literally I've had two in all the time that I've ever been doing tadpoles and it's both at the same time right now. So. So those guys went separate in their own little cups. Um, but outside of that, they all go pretty well communal and I haven't had too many issues. So not too shabby. So that's how I do my tads. Um, like I say, there's other ways to do it. A lot of people keep them in separate containers per, per tad just to avoid the, the possibility of, of them getting cannibalistic. Um, but I, I, I just don't have the space in, in the she shed here at the Pod Solo she shed shack <laughs> to be able to have a, a million cups all over. Because as you can see, I have a lot of tadpoles. So if I had uh, them all individually cupped, then it would be a pretty good size amount of flat surface that I need to take up for all that. So anywho, that's how I keep my tads. Let me know how you keep your tads in the comment section below and uh, take it away, Cheyenne. Hey folks, welcome back. I hope you found that information informative. Um, it's definitely not everybody's way to keep them, but it's the way I keep them. And uh, like I say, there's always different ways to keep everything, more than one way to skin a crap or whatever you call it. I'm, I'm ridiculous. Anyway, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that information, how I keep things. Um, drop in a comment in the comment section below. Um, if you have any other information or if you enjoyed the information or if you're looking for some other kind of dart frog content like this, drop it in the comment section below. 
and we'll get back to you maybe do some more vid content about it and uh yeah it's always good to hear from you folks i enjoy that a lot um let's see it's time to wrap up the video so make sure you're liking and subscribing smashing that subscribe button checking us out on facebook instagram patreon thank you so much to our teespring. patreon supporters teespring like the kid says for merch designs and whatnot uh website uh, i've just marked down some prices on some of my things that i have an overabundance of so i'd mark down prices and uh yeah so check that out on our website podsolo.com and uh yeah anna 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 i say that a lot i say that way too much okay and uh <laughs> we'll see you next friday happy friday